Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Today we're gonna to be talking about the top five things strategy wise that you should be considering when entering into the Ark of Osiris. Hope you all enjoy the video. Make sure to drop a like if you do. And if you haven't already, sub to the channel if you like this kind of content. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we are gonna be talking about the top five things. If you are following in chat right now, let me know what you think of them. But we are going to be talking about the top five strategies in the Ark of Osiris that if you aren't utilizing right now, you 100% should be utilizing, okay? Or consider utilizing, put it that way. Some of these are strategies. Some of these are different ways of rallying stuff. Some of these are ideas behind getting more troops advanced on the field, stuff like that. So these are overall experiences throughout the Ark of Osiris in order to enhance your team's gameplay and strategy and give you all another way of thinking about things, okay? First off, number one thing in the Ark of Osiris, okay? If you are going to be rallying structures, you never want to be sending a solo rally with no marches to swarm. I know most of y'all who've watched our streams know we say that over and over and over again. But here's my suggestion. Here's the number one. Number one. If you're going to be sending, I'll give you an example right now. A shrine of Life. Okay. A lot of the times your rally is going to be sent from the obelisk. And they're going to be going to the Shrine of Life. Okay. A lot of the times you're going to see the Shrine of Life have a 1v1 type scenario. But the enemy may have marches there. Okay. A good counter strat to consider is sending your Attila rally. Okay. Your Attila Takeda rally. But at the same time, one of your other mates needs to be sending a rally to an enemy city. Don't send it to the obelisk. Send it to a city. Because the cities are going to allow you to have more troop capacity in your rally. Okay. The idea of this is to do your slowest marches. So your infantry, whatever it is that takes the longest to get across the map, is what you're going to send in that rally. The reason being is the cities will allow you more or troop capacity in your rally. But what you're gonna do, you're not gonna let it hit. You're gonna wait for it to pass the structure and then you're gonna break it off and come and swarm, okay? A lot of these, the name of the game in Osiris League, and for those of y'all who don't know, the name of the game in the Osiris League is to get as many troops on the field as fast as possible. If you're able to do that, you're able to do a lot of different things from swarming the middle to swarming structures, to you know swarming specific you know buildings like obelisks or cities and i y'all heard me say it at least five times already swarm you don't lose your troops you will have to at some point heal if you don't have the troop capacity or the the hospital that kind of stuff or the troop count but swarming has become 100 percent a necessity and big alliance arc of osiris okay you have to do it so being able to set yourself up for success on doing something like that, like a counter strat and still getting enough troops up the field without having to send individual infantry marches is a good idea to think about. Okay. The second thing, and you're going to hear it over and over and over again, rally, 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 rallies. Okay. When the Ark of Osiris is spawning, we all know we have our mid lane team that goes to the mid they send individual marches, stuff like that. The great teams, the great teams have counter strategies and different scenarios that they utilize in order to utilize rallies. Okay. You have been seeing it a lot and it confuses a lot of people. Why are they sending rallies to an outpost? Okay. They're, sometimes they're sending it for that reason. I would actually suggest you do something different. Okay. My suggestion to you is if you're on this side and you want to reinforce the middle, okay, that you send an infantry rally. I'm, I'm specifically telling you specific troops because they're slow. An infantry rally with an Alex, for example, because Alex has very fast rallies with an, with an Alex, but is going to a city on the opposite side obelisk. So you want to rally a city over here. So one of two things will happen. Either one, your rally will go atop, on top, which then what you would want to be doing is if you go on top, you're going to break it off and then come down to the middle to reinforce. So you're essentially going to be pinching from top and bottom. Or two, 
and you can't you can't determine whether or not it's going to happen one or one or the other it's going to come through the through the middle and swerve through most likely it's going to be coming through the top i will say that but there is there are instances where it comes through the middle and then it's even better then you just break it off in the middle and you help reinforce the mid the reason i don't suggest the outpost is once again because your rally troop count is very limited so you can only realistically fit one to two full-size marches in it when you're rallying the city you can realistically fit four to five average marches in it as well so you're getting more troops forward facing on the field which is what you want to do so imagine both sides on your alliance crossing and then crashing the middle that's ideally what you want the other great thing is if you need to quickly do that you can there's there's plenty of cities so you can launch multiple rallies going across and then break them all off in the middle okay so that's something to keep in mind number three for break off and this is important my suggestion for break off the further you get in osiris league the more advanced break offs will become okay you're not going to see your traditional everyone goes and stands outside the structure you're going to see swarms you're going to see strategize you know breakouts to certain structures you're going to see stuff like that the reason that it's been throwing people off is people keep insta rallying outposts okay i like that idea i actually personally if you're mid lane like say you have your mid lane usually has like five to seven players if i had mid lane i would be sending my fast cav to one of the sides all my fast cav to one sides and then have three rallies going to all three of these outposts okay now keep in mind like i said and this was the rebuttal from a couple of people they rebuttaled okay well the rally capacity is very low for an outpost doesn't matter doesn't matter guys the name of the game like i'm telling you is to get as many troops on the opponent side of the field as fast as possible so what you're going to do is you're going to set three separate rallies with infantry off the break off with an Alex. Uh, you know, I keep saying Alex because his troops, he has tremendous march speed. But you can imagine, put an Alex with a windswept or put, you can do a lot of different things. Um, and you're going to send it to three. Now you may be able to only fit two full size marches in it, which is fine. That's six infantry marches. That will then be available to rally or swarm or refill or however you want to do it garrison a structure if you take it or sneak it on a certain side okay six infantry advance up that far in the field is huge okay because i can tell you when these structures tend to open the infantry are barely like halfway between these two structures so having them ready to swarm is a huge deal okay that's number three Okay. Number four. Number four. I say this and I say this over and over and over again. It, it's going to become a bigger and bigger deal. In Osiris League, if you are provisioning, okay, one thing to keep in mind is don't freak out. <laughs> don't freak out if you see a march coming at you. Okay. You have to pay attention. What the big, what the big boys know and what people who've been playing long enough know is if you're going to get attacked, you're gonna get attacked, it's all right. You're not gonna outrun them with your siege. You're gonna get attacked. The trick is just get off the tile, okay? When in doubt, just get off the tile because if you get off the tile and get killed, your provision score will automatically be applied once your dead march comes back to your city. But if you die on tile, so say you're not paying attention and your march dies on the tile, you lose all of your provision score. I don't care if you've been farming for 45 minutes. If you die on tile, you lose all of your provision score. Okay. And the last one, and for me, is going to be the most important. And those of y'all who've watched our cast already know the mid lane strat. Mid lane strat. There is multiple things that I've already gone through in this, in this video that explain different strats that you can utilize. But the mid lane strat is the most important. Okay. The the timing is very important. When you're testing stuff in your practice arcs, you should know how long it's going to take for you to rally from here to here, how long it takes you to break off. 
that's what the great teams will know. They will go into a practice match and they will say, okay, I'm going to launch a CC con fast cav rally from our starting zone to the out or to the enemy obelisk. And it approx it takes one minute and 30 seconds. Okay. How long does it take this infantry march to get to the obelisk? They will know that off the top of their brain. They will know that off the rip. So timing is huge in Osiris League. If you're one minute late, you're going to get absolutely shrekt in those, in those mid lane battles. Okay. So there are several different things to keep in mind with mid lane strats. There's several different alternative strategies you can utilize. Some of the ones that are the most effective that I've seen, uh, I'll let you know, are the pinch technique. So pinch, just like, just like you would see a crab top and bottom. So you have your mid lane team coming straight up the middle and then you have marches, either single marches coming over the top from both sides. Okay, typically they're swarming and then they just let go once the garrison gets low enough, then they release and come through the top. There is also a strategy for another pinch technique where you come through the middle as well. But you rally opposite obelisk and then you break off or you can do alternatively what I suggested and you rally opposite cities to get more troops in the rally. And you can also do multiple cities. And then you launch those, break those off in the middle, and then you have even more troops in the middle, okay? The other one is an overwhelming, if you know you're coming late to the game, and this is, it this happens a lot. So for those of y'all teams who always come late to the middle, the alternative strat is to just come full send over the top, okay? Coming through the bottom isn't gonna help you, okay? So y'all know the strategy that I always say when you're early, you park over on the, on the enemy side, that kind of stuff. The counter to that is that you do exactly what we were saying before with rallies, but you send all of your individual marches through the top. And then you have your rallies to come through. So everybody is coming through the top. So even if they wanna grab the arc, your troops are coming from the top side. You don't have people individually coming from the bottom. You all come through the top, okay? The last one, and probably one of the coolest ones that I like, is the scenario of, okay, I came in late. The arc is about to spawn. It's about a minute left before the arc spawns. We don't have enough troops in the middle. How do we get troops that are fast enough to help the middle so we can pop skills and, you know, kind of kind of catch up okay and we know that we've seen that it's happened several times what you're trying to do here is you are going to be then not rallying enemy cities or obelisk you are going to be rallying the outposts okay the reason for it and yes you will have less troops the reason for it is because it's going to take them most likely about 85 percent of the time it's going to take your rallies through the middle okay that's important to understand because the transition from your obelisk to the middle is very quick. If you have infantry, if you have fast cav, it's very quick. So you can turn and burn rallies over and over and over again, just on a single obelisk. Okay. That's important to do. The middle one is ideally the one you want to focus on because the outside ones have potential for your rally to come over the top, not through the middle. Okay. That's the key. That's the key point. Like I was telling you all, keep your troops as you want as fast and as many as you can get forward facing as possible. That's the name of the game. Troops, 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 troops. Okay. The last thing I'm going to say, and this isn't necessarily, this doesn't fall out of the top five. This is just letting y'all know a suggestion that I'm making because a lot of y'all may not know it. In the Ark of Osiris, it's all about separating yourself strategy, okay? Your typical strats, the further you get into the Osiris League, they're not going to be as effective, okay? So being creative with what you're doing is very important, okay? The break-off. Break-off is very common nowadays. Everyone does kind of the same thing. So differentiating yourself is very unique. One strat that I've, I've advised and suggested, and it's just something to test out. You can test out, see for yourself. Give you a scenario. Off the break off, you have your mid lane runner or your whoever your fast cab who's going to be rallying the enemy obelisk. Okay. 
what what I would change up, and this is what most of y'all see, is they send they send the rally and then they break it off at the enemy altar. Okay, that's traditionally what you see. My suggestion for an alternative strat, and now would I try this in top four? Probably not. Would I try this in top 32? Definitely. Okay. I would send a CC con fast rally, fast cab rally, filled. Here's the catch filled with nothing but Attila Takeda marches inside of it. Okay. The idea of it is for those of y'all who know your fast cav traditionally will beat out the infantry. The problem is, is your CC isn't going to hit for very hard. So the suggestion I make is the reason you're filling it up with Attila Takeda marches is because what you're going to do is you're going to break it off right before the obelisk and then you're going to swarm with all of your Attila Takedas at one time. Okay. That's going to do way more damage than a CC rally. Okay. So just doing something simple like that, you should beat the infantry rally there. So all you're having to do is swarm out the marches that are in there as individuals. So little things like that are kind of simple break offs to think about, to consider switching it up you know it's going to catch people off guard it's a perfect counter to i'll, I'll tell y'all for bbth i know those of y'all have seen they've seen fat they send fast calves out the gate all the way through the map the the counter to that is to counter their hyper aggressiveness with aggressiveness okay so taking their obelisk is going to force them to have to pull back okay that's what you all you you actually want to be doing okay so that just gives you all an alternative strat that I, I thought about, and um, I think it would actually work. So consider it, you know, I hopefully y'all like the suggestions, the top five suggestions that I gave out. If you did, make sure to drop a like on the video if you haven't already subscribed to it. And yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see y'all in the next one. All right. No sé qué tú ves en mí, mi amor Ya no dejes de mirarme Que ya me gusta quién soy Contigo me siento en control Eres el balance